Here I will demonstrate one way to make a drawing for a lino cut using traditional drawing materials. This is not the only way to make a drawing for a relief print. Begin by tracing your block. I'm drawing on printer paper in this example. Remember that with most transfer methods, your finished print will be the reverse of your drawing. The one exception is images that are transferred face down on the plate, like with an inkjet transfer. I'm starting with a light line drawing to lay out my composition. With this method, I can draw in a looser, more gestural manner. Now I'm adding an ink wash. This will represent the areas I won't be cutting. The white areas represent what I'm planning to remove. You could also do this with acrylic paint, marker, anything really. This drawing is for a one layer relief print, so there won't be any grays. Only areas that print, which will be the color of your ink, and areas that don't print, which will be the color of your paper. It's easiest to think of these in terms of black and white. One of the many nice qualities of ink wash is that the line weight changes. It doesn't make a precisely consistent line the way a pen or a pencil does. Even though there are technically grays in this drawing, there won't be grays in the print. Everywhere I add wash will print solid black. This is a bamboo pen. I brought it in to get medium-sized tapering marks that aren't as wide as the brush. Now I'm using just a regular ballpoint pen. It doesn't matter that the color is blue since this will ultimately be transferred to the linoleum block. For this drawing, interpret it as black. I brought this in to add some thin, delicate lines. I decided I don't like how the ears poke out the top of the composition, so I'm going to retrace my block in a way that includes them. I went ahead and cut my drawing out in preparation for transfer to the linoleum block. This also helped me visualize the new composition a little bit better. I decided to work back into the drawing a little more. 
This time, I'm using a white pastel pencil so I can add light. I'm also using the pastel to correct some areas I wasn't happy with. Now the drawing is finished and ready for transfer.